Lads, 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 lads. What's what happened to the game, I love? What happened? What happened? Cause you can't even stack. You can't even stack. Lads. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? We have one week. By the way, you can't stack these. If you could stack these, this would be super easy, by the way. This would be super easy and not even that long. Not even that long. Like, you can't, you see your three dunks with an unlimited player or with a player, only a player an unlimited salary cap. Let's just say on average it takes half an hour a game. That's eight hours for just Jerry Stackhouse. You have three blocks with a player in domination or TT offline games 30 times. Three blocks with a player. You're looking at 10 per hour. If you're baiting blocks, you're looking at 10 per hour. 10 per hour. You're going to have three hours. You're looking at eight hours. You're going to have 11 hours of game time. 11 hours. 100 play rebounds with Suns players over multiple multiplayer games. You're probably going to get that in these 15. I'm not going to lie. If you run a bunch of Suns players, I guess. I guess you can double up on that. 150 assists with Lakers players. 150 assists. That's not that bad. I don't know why it's made it out like it was awful. That's not that bad. Like, you've got right here, Jaron Jackson Jr. Who is going to take three hours. Maybe you can, like, combo these. 60 point in the paint with Wild West players on multiple TT offline games. That's easy. That's easy for Thad Young. In multiple TT online co-op, TT online or co-op games. This isn't bad. Wild West players, like, I mean, Terry Cummings, is he knocking down threes for you? So these aren't that bad. They're not good. Like, don't get me wrong. They're not, like, these are not good cards to get. But, like, it's not great now, is it? It's not great. Like, you're looking at 11 hours for just these two. Like, what happened? These cards stink as well. Like, you're looking at 11 hours for just these two. And, like, maybe if you can combo it up. But this is, by the way, like, minimum. This is if you get them all, like, in the minimum game. Because you got three in every single game. You're looking at, like, 11 hours. For, you're looking at 12 hours for this. 12 hours for such mid. And, like, is it even the worst time amount of time kind of it kind of is like because it has a week-long timer it is a week-long timer lads like i know we might be saying oh it's only two hours a day man two hours a day mindlessly grind this game is a lot of time we ain't in no pandemic anymore like if this grind said 30 something days fine fine no issue at all no issue at all like, I'm just going to tweet this out right now. If the rush, this rush grind was for the season and not one week, it would be fine. It's ridiculous. The agenda's being unstackable with the timer is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, the worst part is they wouldn't have even pulled this crap in the pandemic. Any of the long grinds of the pandemic were permanently there. Like, if this was a permanent grind. And, like, I get it. I get it. This is the same grind as the Tracy McGrady grind. But you can't say that these cards aren't significantly inferior. Like, you could argue, potentially, that, um... Like, you could argue, potentially, that the AK was the best card in the game when he came out. The T-Mac was the best two-guard in the game. I didn't believe it, but you could argue it. Um, but, like, the rest of these cards stink. And that's the worst part about it. Like, is three hours for Jaron Jackson Jr. the worst thing in the world? <laughs> Not really.
Like, I don't hate that, that one specifically. If you could stack these, fine. Fine. But you can't. If you could go get three dunks with 10 players in a game. If you could get three dunks with 10 players, I mean, this would take two games of Unlimited and you're looking at like an hour. And if you could get, again, three blocks with three different players, you're gonna have 10 games. So you're looking at probably a little bit longer, maybe two and a half hours. Then your son's rebounds, 100 over multi, 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 uh, multiple multiplayer games. This suddenly becomes the longest one. 100 rebounds of Suns players suddenly becomes the hardest one to get. Like, it goes from this being just a given to this one being the hardest. Like, if you could stack, this becomes a four hour grind. And I think this is probably worth a four hour grind. But three times that, three times that grind in a week, in a week. And look, Austin Reeves is great, you know. If you want to go and finish this grind for Austin Reeves, great. There's no card in this game worth playing 12 hours for. I'm sorry. There's not. There's just not. There's not. Harden's not worth playing 12 hours for. This guy's not worth playing 12 hours for. I don't care how good he is. He's not worth it. He's not worth it. When the game is as bad as this game is, no card is worth grinding this time for. Especially in a short period of time. If you could leisurely do this at your own pace, and you could do it over the course of the year. Because, by the way, if this was over the course of the season... You would naturally get this. More than likely, you would naturally get this. You would naturally get this if you're using Suns players. You would naturally get this, and you would naturally get this a lot of the time. Or even the ones you wouldn't naturally get. You can get this in like 20 minutes. You can get this in an hour. Um, in an hour and a half, like. It would be like, you could go 10 minutes out of your way. 10 minutes out of your way on a daily basis will get you all this over the course of the season. But Tuka had to put the timer there. They had to put the timer there. It's just cooked. It's just cooked, like. And it's just... I don't get what they're doing. Like... <laughs> like... It's just frustrating, man. It is just really, really frustrating, isn't it? It's just frustrating what 2K have done to a game mode that we once loved. And, I mean, a lot of us are going down sinking with the ship. Um, a lot of us are going down sinking with the ship, and I'm one of them. Um, main channel video on Thursday, which will be pretty decent. It's on this game mode, but at least it's a bit of fun. The worst part is, is that I was planning on using Stackhouse, um, Austin Reeves, and Jaron Jackson Jr. in my video. Not, uh, not worth doing now. Maybe Triple J, but... Nah, actually, three hours. Nah, not worth wasting my time on Triple J. Yeah, it is what it is.